Hi, I'm QDC. So right now we're in Rome, Italy, believe it or not, and I'm on vacation, but I just found an opportunity to um, really just make this a good introduction to my next model kit. Right behind me, if you can see it, um, just a little bit behind me, behind the, um, the foliage, is the Colosseum. So anyway, uh, we're going to build a model kit called the Italian, um, I believe it's called the Or uh, Coro Armata by Tamiya, and this is going to be a great kit. So let's go ahead and build this kit right now. Let's click beside this box. We have the figures. Lower hull. Photo edge part and the gun barrel. Upper hull. Decal. Parts for the suspension. More parts for the suspension. Um, not sure exactly what that is. Parts for the turret. And the instruction sheet. Okay, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the computer model kit before painting, and I really am amazed by the ingenuity of this kit. 
to me, I wanted to make this model kit affordable for everyone. And in order for them to do that, they have to really be um, clever at doing this. If they would make a brand new kit, um, this brand new with new molds, it would cost a lot of money for the consumer. So in order to keep the price range down, what they've done was they use older molds from 1974 and 1976. And then in 2008, they added a new set of molds to go along with those older molds. And what you get out of this model kit is a very good, affordable model kit for everyone to have. I really like the details of this model kit, including the tracks, the metal gun barrel, the details here, and these two very well detailed figures. So for those of you who are looking for a, an Italian tank to build that's affordable and have a good decent amount of detail, this kit should be on your list. It's really hard to beat at this price range and I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's time for me to paint the model. All right, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is a complete model kit after painting and weathering, and I think I did an average job. The painting and weathering has really brought out the nice details of this model kit. And I really don't have any complaints about this kit from Tamiya. Tamiya has really made a nice model kit for everyone to enjoy. And you won't be disappointed in making this model kit. It's, it's very well detailed. I know I'm going off on a tangent, but 
I just was when I was building this model kit I was just thinking about um, Mussolini when I was in Rome I, I'm sure some of you have, have seen footages of Mussolini making his speeches up in the balcony of his building in Rome when I look at those footages I thought that the building that he was actually in was some sort of huge palace but when I went to the actual building that Mussolini made the speeches it was just a plain brown building and so I just realized when I was in Rome that Mussolini made that building appear bigger than what it really is because it was his uh, personality, his character that had made it big. So I could easily imagine that this tank was in front of Mussolini as he was built, as he was boasting about the powers of the Italian people during the Second World War. All right, so right now we're inside the um, the Colosseum right now. So anyway, um, that completes everything. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. So um, really, just build a, build a model kit of your own and enjoy it. I'm QDC, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye from Rome. Our God.